My name's Andrea Lee and I was on the CPNM programme in 2017-18. I really enjoyed meeting people from lots of different backgrounds uh, and musical genres. There were some people like me uh, who play in a community ensemble, but there were also uh, covers duo, um, singers from opera, from jazz, uh, from church music. Um, there were also instrumentalists playing in uh, rock groups, folk groups and a number of people composing their own music too. And I really did think uh, an advantage was that uh, the learning was online with the Open University which meant that uh, the work could be fitted around existing uh, commitments. This idea of having more ways in which you can create music and be collaborative with others um, was really demonstrated so well when we all met for the first time in the uh, wonderful surroundings of Greenwich for the week-long residential. Uh, that was just an amazing week, uh, absolutely full of um, practical exercises, the opportunities to improvise, to plan and lead rehearsals um, and to also think about performance. CPMM led me down a new uh, path actually to uh, conducting which is something I had never done before. For the final assignment for the programme I was planning to design a small maybe a 10 minute um, series of exercises that the concert band I play in could use um, at the start of their rehearsals to help us develop um, our balance and sound and rhythm. And when I mentioned it to our band conductor to ask him if that was okay, um, well, he slightly wrong-footed me by suggesting that uh, I should take the rehearsals and uh, conduct uh, a piece for our forthcoming concert. Learning how to take a rehearsal and all the skills and techniques of conducting was really, really hard work. But looking back on it now, it was probably one of the most rewarding things that uh, I've done. Since then, I went on a excellent workshop for women conductors run by the Royal Philharmonic Society. I've also conducted the band again, and I was invited to conduct a choir for a new composition for I Play for Peace in 2019. I suppose I'll always be uh, grateful for that opportunity to step up and uh, do conducting. Um, and I'm absolutely sure that I would never have done that without the confidence that I gained from the programme. Um, it's, yes, I suppose it's that, for me, it's that kind of experience that I'd like to encourage for others so that everyone has a chance of making the most of their music making. <laughs>